All right, so about two days ago, I went out with Tracy and caught the biggest red snapper I've ever seen. Unfortunately, that's the only thing I got on video. I made a rookie mistake and assumed if I was filming, I wouldn't catch anything, and instead, uh, we didn't film and we caught a lot of fish. Uh, six inches of water. Right on top. I threw a squid at it and it came up. That's how we know what it was. Well, we got here is Nathan on a giant red snapper. That we sight this for. He ate a squid just a minute ago. I threw it at him. Put it, put it on there. Yeah, there's still a couple down there. Hey Lee, before you put that down, will you go up by my radio and get my box gaff out? Yep, it's just, just right up. You'll see it. it's got that string on it right there. You want to come lift this guy? Here he comes. Look at this thing, dude. Just get him in the mouth. From the inside out. <laughs> Damn, boy! That boy's thick! But anyway, we're gonna cook a uh, mango snapper tonight. We're gonna do a grilled mango snapper from what we got the other day. All right, so we already have our fish scaled. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut some slits in there. So we'll take a little uh, brush, we'll drizzle some olive oil in there. And we're just gonna take and coat the fish. Get it down in the, the cracks here. Get some in the cavity. Yeah, I made a, a rookie mistake. I didn't get to film the good stuff, so. Uh, but I'll put up the video of the big red snapper that I caught. All right, so we're gonna take some lemon slices. Go ahead and slice these. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper on there. All right, I'm gonna need a hand with this. Just grab the grab that fish head and hold it like that. Move that fin out of the way. Get some down in the slits. All right, let's flip it over and grab it again like that. Just help. Make sure we get it on the crevices. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same with the pepper, with the black pepper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the black pepper, hold the head on it really quick. I just like to get it down in the slits if possible, hold it like that. All right, and then let's flip it. She's gotta film and assist me here. So this is a three hand job. 
All right. So anyway, we have that seasoned. Uh, we got some fresh rosemary out of the garden. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and strip it off. And we'll put a little bit down in here in the cracks. The key is to get the seasoning down in the fish. It's essential that you put some slits in it. And we decided to do it different today instead of frying it or broiling it or whatever we're gonna go ahead and do it on the grill all right can you help me one more time just hold that open there and we'll throw a little pepper in it a little salt and some rosemary in there all right so the next thing we're gonna do we can go ahead and lay it down I'm gonna cut some lemons like that. And we're gonna see if we can get them to stay right there. All right, so I have one of these fish baskets, fish grill baskets. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I'm gonna try to keep the lemon slices in there if I can do it without spilling everything. Keep the lemon slices pushed down in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some right. I can do it without knocking stuff off the counter. We'll throw some lemon slices right in there. That's actually working pretty nice. This is an experiment here. I'm putting the half lemon slices in there like that. So we'll see how it's work, gonna work. And this basket should hold those lemon slices in. You want to put some more? Let me just try to make it look pretty. Let's see what you're doing. Yeah, there. why not? Well, we'll do this. At least we have the basket to hold all the ingredients. We have a rosemary bush from last year. It's literally a bush, so might as well use it. It survived the winter and is doing really well. All right, let's take it out to the grill. All right, let's get it on the grill. Looks pretty good. Nice and hot. And so that basket expands to whatever size fish you got so it holds those lemons in there nicely. So on this trip we went on with Tracy the other day just to tell you guys when the fish is cooking. Uh, we caught our limit, uh, three person limit of uh, Mingo Snapper, Vermilion Snapper, Bee Liners, whatever you want to call them. So we caught uh, 30 of those. And then we got a couple nice mangroves. I didn't, but one of the guys that was with us did. All right, guys, we're pulling it off. All right, so we're gonna, uh, we kinda maybe forgot about putting the garlic on it, and we can't forget our garlic. So what I'm actually gonna do, I've done this before, is we're gonna do some butter, infused with garlic and pour it on top of it. While we're at it, give me a few of those rosemary. We'll do, we'll put the rosemary in there too. To add extra flavor. Extra flavor. And we're just cooking this just long enough to get some uh, garlic flavor into the butter. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pour pour it over the fish. Yum. And we'll let that sit for a minute and then I'll flip it over and pour some on the other side. And that's pretty much it. Grilled mango snapper. All right guys, that's it for us today and we are 